Hi, welcome back to our outdoor cooking series. I'm Karina Boxnick, your State 4-H camping coordinator. And for this session, we are gonna talk specifically about cast iron and how to cook with cast iron and how to get cast iron ready to cook with. So up here on the table, I've got two different sized Dutch ovens. I've got a 10 inch and a 12 inch. I've also got a cast iron skillet. Um, the Dutch ovens come with the base and the lid all included. The cast iron skillet, you have to buy the lid separately. Um, one thing to note that if you have a 12 inch cast iron skillet, the lids for the 12 inch cast iron Dutch ovens will fit on them as well. So consider what you're gonna be doing with it and whether you need to purchase a lid that is specific for the skillet or not. And you can always grab it later if you think you decide you need it afterwards. So there's a lot of varieties and a lot of brands of Dutch ovens. Um, I specifically work with Lodge, that's my only experience. What you want to look for is a nice thick surface to work with. Um, some of them are a little bit thinner. I would try to avoid those just so that you have better cooking quality. When you purchase a Dutch oven or any cast iron piece of equipment, a lot of times they are going to come pre-seasoned. I do encourage you to go ahead and re-season it yourself. You want to wash it out. You want to make sure it's dry and then coat every surface with some vegetable oil and then put it in your oven um, or a grill or somewhere you can control the temperature for about at 400 degrees for about an hour. Um, if you take it out and look at it and it looks like there's still drips of um, your vegetable oil, you can stick it back in there for a little bit longer. Now please be aware that when you do this in the house, it is going to smoke and it is going to smell, so be sure to turn your vent on. Um, otherwise, your whole house will smell like burnt vegetable oil. And if you find a Dutch oven or something has happened and you've left a Dutch oven out in the weather and it gets rusty, you can totally clean it back up and get it looking just like new again following those steps. You may have to repeat that process a couple of times to make sure it gets nice and clean. So once you've got your Dutch oven, um, unless you've had it for several years, try not to cook anything acidic in it for a while. That way you can really get the surface in there so it's nice and slick um, and it cures well. Uh, you'll notice this one has some few spaces where some of the vegetable oil kind of bubbled up and didn't get cured in as well as it should. So don't be intimidated by the cast iron. Um, once you get the hang of it, it is really easy to use. When you're considering buying Dutch ovens, make sure if you're gonna cook on the fire, you want a camp oven. And those camp ovens are gonna have feet on the bottom, whereas a kitchen oven will be flat. And it will also have this lip on the lid to be able to hold coals. Um, your kitchen ovens that you find to cook just inside will just kind of have a domed lid. And it's, it's hard to use it for the purposes of an oven when you're cooking on a campfire. You can still definitely use a kitchen oven to hang from a rack and cook like soups and stews and that kind of thing in it as well. So stay tuned and we'll get to cooking soon. Thank you.